Chaps, I need to know what a prime number is and what prime factor of decomposition is all about. Thank oh, you very much. Oh my lord. Prime, prime numbers. numbers? Who knows prime numbers? Oh my lord. Struggling this week, Mr. Gill, Mr. Tucker's task. What is a prime number? Who knows? And this thing called prime factor decomposition. Sounds hard. Sounds a bit tricky. Who are we going to ask about that? We need some mathsy type people. There's some maths teachers, I think, in the maths office. Let's go. Right, chaps, sorry to interrupt you. We know you're all very busy. We've got a tucker from Task. We're on a mission from God. We need to know, Mr. Dawson, you look clever. Tucker from Task. <laughs> oh, right, that's it, yeah. <laughs> Struggling this week, Mr. Gill, Mr. Tucker's task. What is a prime number? Who knows? And this thing called prime factor decomposition. Sounds hard. Sounds a bit tricky. Who are we going to ask about that? We need some mathsy type people. There's some maths teachers, I think, in the maths office. Let's go. Right, chap, sorry to interrupt you. So, Mr. Dawson, you look intelligent. Could you possibly tell us what a prime number is, please? It's a number that has only two factors, one and itself. Ooh, technical. Ooh, only two Ooh. factors. Anybody else? Any? What about you, Miss Scott? Would you agree with Mr. Dawson's statement there? I think he is correct, yep. Prime number, two factors, just one and itself. Ah, Very interesting. And you? Yeah, I agree. Shall I give you an example? Yes, please. Oh, wow. Number two. Ah, That's a prime number. Two, you say? What are the factors of two then, sir? One and two. Brilliant. Itself and one. Uh, Say that again, Miss. A number that can only be divided by itself and one. Wonderful. On the neck. Hanson, thank the Lord that you're here. I know you're a bit busy, sir. I can see that with your lesson plan. Got a mission from Tucker. Tucker? Yeah. We oh, found out about again. some prime numbers, but there's a thing called prime factor D something. Composition? Might be. Looks like you're working on something very similar there yourself, sir. Hey. That's handy. Can you show us what it's all about then, Mr. H? Because I haven't got a clue. Okay. Firstly, this is a dangerous subject you could wear a hard hat. Brilliant. We want to know about prime factor decomposition, okay? Did he tell you anything about it at all? We know what. Not a word. Prime numbers are. Prime numbers. So, let's, should we write down the first few prime numbers first? Go on, Get then. started. What's a prime number? Two, two factors itself and one. Okay, so is one a prime factor? It's got, not one, it's got one, one, isn't it? But itself is one, so, so I'm going to say no. no. Oh, good guess. One isn't. So what did we say the first one was? It's two one. Two, yeah. Two, one, two, yeah. Two, yeah. Okay, two, one. two. Three? Yeah. Three yeah, and one, yeah. yeah. Three and one, yeah. How about four? Four. Two, two times two. two. No, it can't two. be. It's our first one, it's not. Five? Yeah. Six? No, two times three? Two times three, Gil. We have a pattern good. here. Oh. After two, is there really going to be any more even numbers? No. No, they're no. all going to be divisible by two, aren't they? Brilliant. So let's carry on. Seven yeah. does eight, no. no, nine. Three times three. Three times three, Gil, good, like it. Oh, he locks his three times table. Ten. No, no, no five two. Okay, let's yeah. stop there. That'll be enough for us today, I think. Cool. You could go on for a very long time. Yeah. Okay, let's get down to this dangerous subject of prime factor decomposition. Did he say any number he wanted to use? Forty-eight. Forty-eight was a big one he came up. His birthday. His birthday, yeah. Okay, so Tucky's birthday. Forty-eight years old. I think he's being generous to himself there. <laughs> he okay. looks older. Forty-eight. Yeah. What we need to do is we need to start splitting this up into prime numbers. Ah. That's what decomposition means. It needs to break it down. Ah. Okay. Ah. So what we're going to do is try and think of a prime number that divides into 48. Any of these you think is an easy start? 48 is an even number. Even number. So we could definitely divide it by? Two. 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 Great. Great. It. In there. So first of all, I'm going to do two. If I divide 48 by two, that's the same as half in it. So we're going to get... Half was two, half eight's four, 24, sir. 24, excellent. Genius. Well worked out. I like the way you've done that, Mr. Miller. Thanks very okay. much. Okay, are either of those in our little prime number list? Two is. Yeah. We're going to put a little circle around that. I like it. And that means we've finished with that one. We don't need to go any further. Okay? So we're going to carry on with 24. Is it even again? It is. 
Spot on. So we can definitely divide it by two. Yeah. Once two is two, two twos are four, twelve. Yeah, wow, James, wow. excellent. So either of them, Pran? Two. Two. Two, well done. Is twelve? No. No, it's even. So we can split that up by another... Two. Two. Two's into twelve, go. Half of one is a half. Half of two is one. One and a half. Ooh, that's not working this time, not is it? Not working there, Half of no. ten. Five. Half of two. One. Put them together, you get... Six. Yeah. Ah. Okay. Right. So, we've got our two again. Just to point out, if we get stuck and we haven't got an even number, you don't have to just divide by two. Like it. For example, if we had 15, we could split that up by dividing it by three and five. Ah. Okay? Don't just always halve it. Example. Don't always halve it. Okay, don't always have to halve it. So, six we can half though. So we're going to go two times three. three. Yeah. Is three a prime? Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. Brilliant. All circled means we're finished. Right. We now need to write it out in the format they like to see it, or Mr. Tucker likes to see it. He does. Oh, yeah. Okay, he likes to see his number, his birthday, split up into prime factors. So, we're going to write out all the ones that are circled. So we've got a two, and then we're going to times it by another two, another one, another one, and lastly, the three. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. We've got them all. Brilliant. Let's check that it works. Two times two is four, times two is eight, eight times two is 16, 16, times three. Must be 48. 48, it is. Check out your calculators if you want. 48. Okay. There's one other thing you can do. You can write this in a slightly simpler form. Hmm. Okay. What happens if I said two times two? Is there another way of saying that? Same number times itself is the number squared. Squared. How do we write squared? Little two. Little two. Okay. So I could write those two with a little two above it. Could do. But I've got four of them. What do you think I might do if I've got four, four of them? Two of them with a little two. Two, two, two. Four of them. Four, two, four. Two, two, four. Two, and it's going to be a little four above it. It's called raised to the power of four. It means ah. two times two times two times two. Okay? Brilliant. I've still got my three. So I could say two to the power of four times three equals Mr. Tucker's birthday, 48 years young. Wonderful.